The Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow is a full-sized luxury car produced by British automaker Rolls-Royce in various forms from 1965 to 1980. It was the first of the mark to use unitary body and chassis construction. The Silver Shadow was produced from 1965 to 1976, and the Silver Shadow II from 1977 to 1980. To date, the combined model run of 30,057 units manufactured is the largest production volume of any Rolls-Royce model. A Bentley-badged version, the T-Series, was produced from 1965 through 1980 in 2,336 examples. The Silver Shadow was originally intended to be called Rolls-Royce Silver Mist, but was replaced with Silver Shadow at the last minute due to mist meaning manure, or crap, in German. It was designed with several modernizations in response to concerns that the company was falling behind in automotive innovation, most notably in its unitary construction. Style-wise, the John Polhele Blatchley design was a major departure from its predecessor, the Silver Cloud. More than 50% of Silver Clouds had been sold on the domestic market where, by the standards of much of Europe and most of North America, roads were narrow and crowded. The new shadow was 3.5 inches, 8.9 centimeters, narrower and 7 inches, 18 centimeters, shorter than the Silver Cloud, but nevertheless managed to offer increased passenger and luggage space, thanks to more efficient space utilization made possible by unitary construction and a full-width, slab-sided body design. Other new features included disc brakes replacing drums, and independent rear suspension instead of the outdated live rear axle design of previous Rolls-Royce models. The standard wheelbase Silver Shadow measured 203.5 inches, 5,170 millimeters, 4,700 pounds, 2,100 kilograms, and had a book price of 6,557 pounds in the first year of production. The Shadow featured a 21,969 horsepower, 128 kilowatt, 6.2-liter V8 from 1965 to 1969, and a 189 horsepower, 43 kilowatt, 6.75-liter V8 from 1970 to 1980. Left-hand drive models were coupled to the recently introduced Turbo Hydromatic 400 automatic gearbox sourced from General Motors, GM, pre-1970. Right-hand drive, RHD, models used a highly modified, aluminum-cased version of the original cast-iron 4-speed Hydromatic gearbox that had been built in crew under license from GM since 1953. From 1968, export RHD cars gained the Turbo Hydromatic 400, and by 1970, the four-speed unit had been completely phased out even in the home market. A distinctive feature was a high-pressure hydropneumatic suspension system licensed from Citroen, with dual circuit braking and hydraulic self-leveling suspension. At first, both the front and rear of the car were controlled by the leveling system. The front leveling was deleted in 1969 as it had been determined that the rear leveling did almost all the work. Rolls-Royce achieved a high degree of ride quality with this arrangement. A two-door saloon was introduced early in 1966, followed by a convertible in 1967. There are two different versions of the two-door saloon. The more common Mulliner Park Ward, featuring a raked C pillar and swooping rear bumper line, and the very rare early James Young model reflecting the more formal four-door that was only built in 35 Rolls-Royce examples, with another 15 Bentleys, discontinued in 1967. The convertible variant, by Mulliner Park Ward and similar in style to its two-door saloon, was marketed as the Silver Shadow Drophead Coupe. In 1977, the model was renamed the Silver Shadow II in recognition of several major changes, most notably rack and pinion steering. Modifications to the front suspension improved handling markedly. Externally, the bumpers were changed from chrome to alloy and rubber starting with the late 1976 Silver Shadows, these new energy-absorbing bumpers had been used in the United States since 1974, as a response to tightening safety standards there. Nonetheless, the bumpers on cars sold outside of North America were still solidly mounted and protruded 2 inches, 5 centimeters, less. Also now made standard across the board was the deletion of the small grills mounted beneath the headlamps. Outside of North America, where tall curbs and the like demanded more ground clearance, a front skirt was also fitted to the Silver Shadow II and its sister cars. In 1979-75 Silver Shadow IIs were specially fitted to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the company with the original red, RR, badges front and rear, pewter, silver paint, gray leather with red piping, scarlet red carpets, 
and a silver commemorative placard on the inside of the glove box door. 33 of these were designated for and shipped to the North American market. Rolls-Royce considered offering a more exclusive, long wheelbase Phantom 7 model based on the Silver Shadow, but production was not pursued and no prototypes were built. Instead, a pilot series of 10 stretched wheelbase limousines, which offered an additional 4 inches of rear seat legroom, was built in 1967 and sold, one of them to Princess Margaret. This long wheelbase variant was offered in the United States from May 1969, and available to domestic customers from early 1970. Some extended wheelbase models were fitted with an electrically retractable privacy glass divider. Outside of North America, the cars with a divider were fitted with a separate air conditioning unit mounted in the boot. North American safety laws made this impossible, as the petrol tank would have had to be relocated. The cars with a divider lost the entire gain in wheelbase, trading off extra legroom for privacy. Initially, the long wheelbase model did not have a separate name, but with the introduction of the Silver Shadow 2 in 1976 the longer car was dubbed the Silver Wraith 2. The Silver Wraith 2 is identified by all alterations found on the Silver Shadow 2 and additionally an Everflex covered roof, also available as an option on the Silver Shadow 2, a smaller, more formal rear window, and different wheel covers. The Rolls-Royce factory built a special stretch limousine in 1979. It was ordered by the religious leader Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh, who had a collection of 93 Rolls Royces. In 1971 the Silver Shadow 2 door models were given the separate identity of Cornish, with either Rolls Royce or Bentley badging, and eventually went on to outlive the Silver Shadow by some years with production lasting until 1982 for the coupe and 1996 for the convertible. Another coupe variant on the Shadow platform was the Camar, with bodywork designed by the Italian firm Pininfarina, and production running from 1975 to 1986. The Camar had the distinction of being the most expensive production Rolls-Royce. A Bentley version of the Shadow, known as the Bentley T, and Bentley T2 from 1977, was also made. It was mechanically identical and differed only in the badging and design of the radiator shell. The more rounded radiator also required a slightly reshaped bonnet profile. Other modifications were only slight cosmetic ones, a different front bumper and hubcaps. Engine valve covers with a Bentley logo were only used when the factory had them available. The long wheelbase version of the Bentley T did not have a separate identity and was simply called T Long Wheelbase or T2 Long Wheelbase. Only a very few of these were built, 9 and 10 examples respectively, less than 0.4% of the total long wheelbase production. All two-door cars were also available as Bentleys. However, only one example of a Bentley Camar was ever produced. In 2013, the Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow featured on a British Auto Legends, postage stamp issued by the Royal Mail. In popular culture, one of Princess Margaret's favorite cars was a 1980 Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith II which she owned for 22 years until her death, with notable passengers including Paul Getty, Ronald and Nancy Reagan, Lady Diana Spencer, Her Majesty the Queen and Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, rock band Queen frontman Freddie Mercury, who never drove a car because he had no license, was often chauffeured around London in his Silver Shadow from 1979 until his death in 1991. The car was passed to his sister Kashmira who made it available for display at public events, including the West End premiere of the musical We Will Rock You in 2002, before it was auctioned off at the National Exhibition Center. The Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow, and its derivatives, have appeared in numerous film and television shows to define the rarefied upper echelons of wealth. A 1967 Silver Shadow two-door sedan serves as Steve McQueen's daily driver in his 1968 film, The Thomas Crown Affair. The Silver Shadow is featured in several James Bond films including a drophead coupe in On Her Majesty's Secret Service, 1969, a Silver Shadow 1 in The Man with the Golden Gun, 1974, a Silver Shadow 1 long wheel base in For Your Eyes Only, 1981, and a Silver Shadow 2 in The World Is Not Enough. 1999. The Cornish immediately became a status symbol for celebrities upon its release in 1971. Paul McCartney, Frank Sinatra and Tom Jones all bought one. David Bowie, Michael Caine, Elton John and Dean Martin put their names on two-year-long waiting lists, and it has been seen in countless films and television shows from Beverly Hills, 90,210 to Dynasty, and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels to The Player. No other car conveyed an image of the idol rich better than the Cornish.
Jamie Farr's Arabian Sheikh races in a 1974 Silver Shadow won in the popular 1981 action comedy The Cannonball Run. Japanese director Juzo Atami was known as an Rolls-Royce aficionado, featuring several Rolls-Royce and Bentley vehicles in his movies including a Silver Shadow in his 1984 film The Funeral, a Bentley T-series in the popular 1985 classic Tampopo, and a Silver Shadow in the 1987 film A Taxing Woman. His last personal vehicle, a Bentley Continental, is maintained at his museum in Matsuyama. In 1997, a white 1972 Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow featured on the cover of the Oasis album Be Here Now. During the photo shoot for the album, the car was lowered into the swimming pool of Stocks House, Hertfordshire. A Silver Wraith II, 1979 model, makes multiple appearances in the first season of Netflix's The Umbrella Academy. It is first very briefly revealed at the end of the series' first episode, we only see each other at weddings and funerals. The same vehicle later makes a clearer appearance at the end of, number 5. It also appears in the beginning and end of, the day that was, end of, I heard a rumor, it is seen for the last time at the beginning of, changes.